going on YouTube? T Tor is back here for another video. All right, so I want to apologize. Uh, last week I didn't post a video because I was sick, and uh, the last thing I wanted to do was was to film a video or prepare something to film a video. I was super sick. I was under the weather, and I was just not uh, feeling up to it. But um, one one thing did happen uh, to the car over the. Um, Halloween weekend, uh, me and my girl, uh, we were headed out to go to a Halloween party and um, we got our costumes on, we're in the car getting ready to go. I pull out of the driveway just a little bit and our driveway's kind of a little bit, uh, kind of like on a slant, so you know, just like any, any normal day, open the garage, pull the car out, um, out of the driveway and, um, and then my girlfriend gets in the car and then I go to shut the garage and I guess I was not, um, I was not far enough out of the garage and my bumper was still kind of like, just barely um, in line of the garage. So the daggum bumper um, got hit by the top of the uh, top of the garage. So yeah, that was not a um, not a great way for me to start my uh, Halloween weekend off. So I could have swore, you know, I you know I pulled out of this garage and driveway a million times, you know. I could have swore I was far enough down, but I guess I wasn't. And so, I, you know, I was waiting on my girlfriend to get in the car. So I had the brake hold on. So you know, well, if you have the brake hold on, that means you don't have to hold the brake. The car automatically uh, holds the brake for you. It has a green light that comes up in the dash that lets you know, hey, the brake hold is on. So you don't have to, you know, put it in neutral, and the car will hold itself. And I had the brake hold on. And by the time you know I went to go, you know, put it in gear and give it the gas, there was just there was just way too much. There wasn't enough time for me to react in order to get the car to pull forward before the garage could do any more damage. So uh, that was a setback. Um, I just got the car back about maybe a week or two weeks ago. So there goes $500 um, um, to, to re repair the bumper. And unfortunately, um, I did not take a photo or a video of the bumper, but I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it's OCD. And as you know, I'm very particular about, you know, the way my car looks, I just had to get it fixed. So. Um, I'll show you, um, well of course now you can't tell where it happened, but I'll show you where on the bumper the, the garage shut on it. Okay, so this, this is the area where the garage had shut. So the garage had, you know, came down, it swiped this black plastic piece. We got some, uh, you know, we got some paint that got taken off of here, this got redone. And then it came over and this lip right here from the bumper got hit and there was like a black mark uh, from like here to like here where the garage had just um, took the paint off. But now, you know, you, you can never tell it happened. Um, yeah, I wish I wish it would have never happened, but you know, th things happen and I, accidents do happen. And you know, the only way I could have prevented it is if I would have pulled up a little bit more, but I would have never thought, you know, if the car was in the way of the, the lasers of the garage that it wouldn't shut. But I guess it was just, just the right you know, perfect timing, not perfect timing, but the perfect distance to where the lasers wouldn't trip and the bumper was still got affected. So yeah, we hit right here and then the garage continued to shut, continued to shut and then boom, nick this and ate all this uh, paint off. So uh, yeah, need, needless to say, that was a uh, not a fun way to start Halloween, but I didn't let it ruin my night or, or my mood. I didn't let that set the tone for the night. We still had a good time. But <clears throat> I would have much rather used that $500 to buy car parts so I can make videos for, for you guys. That, that $500 could have been my K-Tuner, uh, which I am going to be uh, buying one soon. I have three mods coming in the mail. One will be here the day that this video gets released. Hopefully it comes before, but I don't, I don't think it will be. So this coming Wednesday, I know for sure I have one part coming in the mail. And then I have two others that I believe are going to be coming. They should be at my house around Thanksgiving. If not, the week after. I'm hoping they all come the week of Thanksgiving because that would be great because I'll be off from work. That'll give me t some solid time to make some uh, install videos. So um, comment down below if you think uh, if you think you know what the mods are going to be. Um, definitely definitely going to be some horsepower mods coming. So that two, two of the mods are going to add horsepower and then one of the mods, um, you just have to wait and see what that's going to be. So comment down below if you think you know what that's going to be. All right, some other things I want to talk about in this video are also, you guys are doing awesome. You guys are doing fantastic for subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate 
um, each and every single one of you for subscribing to my channel. Um, I constantly check my 28 day and my 30 day mark and I'm always up in the 200s. I've been, all, I've been up to 250 subscribers in the last 28 to 30 days and that's awesome. That means my channel is growing um, and I do appreciate that. So make sure uh, when you guys subscribe, you guys turn the notification on to, no to get notified every time that I post a video. And if you're not already, make sure you follow me on Instagram and you add me on Snapchat to always to always know when I post a video or you know I do car stuff. My Instagram is at ttorres1183 and my Snapchat is also ttorres1183. So be sure to add me on there. Um, once again, big shout out to all you guys that are uh, subscribing to my channel and. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. It's it's awesome to, to be able to do this. I never thought like, never thought you know I could actually make money from doing this, but it's because you guys that I get to do this. You guys watch my content. Also, another thing that helps my content grow, you guys hit that like button. It puts my video in that suggestion block. So please continue to like to uh, to like these videos. So if you don't already know, what you're already watching this video, you should already know. Go subscribe, baby. And then also, um, I already mentioned my Instagram name. But here it is if you want to see it. Boom. There it is. Go follow me. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but whenever you guys uh, you guys get your car detailed, see all these, these beads, these beads of water, that's what you want to see. That's what we like to see. So obviously my detailing uh, has paid off. I did actually just, um, I did uh, wash, wax, and then seal the car with a sealant. So I love seeing that my work's paid off. And we have all these little nice, fine little uh, micro micro beads of water on there, so that that looks good. So let's take a look in the inside of the car. Um, I don't currently remember how much or how many miles I have on her, but I have been driving this car a lot. So let's take a look at it. Awesome startup menu. That's a killer startup menu. All right, so it looks like we have 2,275 miles on here. So uh, with that being said, I have 2,275 miles on there. So let's go check the uh, the maintenance meter for my old chains because you guys were very responsive about that, and I appreciate that. So let's see. Whoops. Maintenance. So it says I have 70% left for for the old life. Why won't, why won't my AC cut off? I even click off and doesn't want to click off uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in me making a video of how to make this uh, background uh, your own wallpaper that you designed I, I can show you guys that comment down below if you guys would like to see a video of me um, showing you guys how to make make your own personal wallpaper for it for your car all right so anyways like I said uh, the maintenance meter is on 2000 or not 2000 it's on 70 percent let's take a look at the uh look at the fog lights i know i'm everywhere but absolutely i'm in love with these fog lights and all of the led lights that i have um yeah it just looks so much better no more of that yellow stuff all right so uh with that being said a lot of people told me to just wait till the maintenance meter told me to change the oil uh, I don't know if I'm a firm believer of that. So I think I am actually going to, I think I'm going to change mine at 3,000, 3,000 miles. So not only, um, am I going to change it at 3,000 miles, but I'll make a how to video. I had somebody ask me about that. They told me that, um, that we have a rock like skid plate to take off. So I'll, I'll go to the shop and put the car on the lift and we'll do the oil change. And if you're curious to know what kind of oil and stuff I got, uh, this, this is what I got. I got mobile one. 0 w20 and let me get the filter number for you the filter number is come on focus hang on the filter number is m1110 and then just your standard mobile one 0 w20 that is the um that's the oil that i'm going to put in this car all right so um 
Oh, one other thing that I want to discuss to you guys. So this is this is more of a vlog, not an install video at all. So hopefully you guys like this vlog. I would love to turn this channel more into a vlogging, vlogging style type of uh, channel. So you guys, so I don't always have to create car content, but it'll be car related. So, um, so like I mentioned, I spent five hundred dollars on the bumper, and um, after talking to people and doing some research, I am going to go with K Tuner. I'm not going to go with Honda anymore. Um, one of the bigger reasons that I'm going to go with K Tuner is because K Tuner allows you to, you know. They allow you to cut your cats, not cut your cats, but you know the emissions. Uh, Hondata, <clears throat> with Hondata, they don't let you they don't let you do that anymore. So if you were to run a catless downpipe, you'll always have that cell code and that check engine light. And that's one of those things that definitely bothers me. I don't want anything in the gauge cluster to be lit up that's not supposed to be lit up. So um, K-Tuner does give you the option to uh, delete that. So I'm definitely gonna go with K-Tuner and Everybody that I've talked to, they love K-Tuner, so, and they do have some base maps that I can flash with, so it's just coming up with, it's just saving the $500 to get the K-Tuner, and then once I get the K-Tuner, I'll do the install video, and then we'll flash the car, and I'll show you guys how, how to do all of that. All right, so once again, I just want to tell you all, thank you so much for, uh, for watching my channel, hitting that subscribe button. Um, so if you made it this far in the video, um, let me know. Also, comment down below if you guys think I should get a P.O. box. If I get a P.O. box, would you send me something? Um, also, a reminder, once we hit 2,000 subscribers, I will be doing a uh, subscriber, way, uh, subscriber giveaway. So we're not too far from 2,000. I think right now I'm at like 1,720 subscribers. So we got you know 200 or so subscribers to go, which, which we're not far from. I'd like to get that. Um, I'd like to hit that milestone before Thanksgiving or by the end of November. So help me help me reach that 2,000 uh, subscriber mark. Uh, once again, um, stay tuned. We do have performance mods coming, and we have a mod that's coming in the mail um, the day that this video is going out. So I'll do an install video. That will be your install video for next for next uh, week, not this week, but the following week. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and leave this video a like. helps helps my channel grow. Get that video in the suggestion block. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Peace out. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my call.